What are you doing? Go in the sink. <laughs> You're crackers, aren't you? <laughs> Good morning guys. I'm just about to head in the shower. Actually no, I'm just about to brush my teeth and then I'm gonna head in the shower. Nelly's playing with his tap this morning. Does anybody else's cat just love water? He's learnt it from Pikelet, who is Leo, the grey cat in Sheffield, and now Beanie does it as well in Sheffield because they've both learnt it off him. And Nelly does it in my kitchen sink, so that's fab. He loves it though, I'm not gonna stop him. Such a good mom. <laughs> So as I said, I'm just about to go in the shower. It's like 10 past 11. I've got a really bad headache this morning, but I'm trying to push through it. I think it's because I ate terribly yesterday. Yesterday was like my treat day. I'm not calling it a cheat day. I'm calling it a treat day. Because if it's a cheat day, then I'll feel guilty. But if it's a treat day, then I know that I've done really well for the whole week and this is my treat. <laughs> so yeah, I ended up having this vegan pizza from Pureza in Brighton, which is incredible, honestly. Get some dried tomatoes and onions on it. Oh, nicest pizza ever. It's got a sourdough base. Oh, it's so nice. It's one of them where, like, the base just tastes so nice on its own that you don't even have to have toppings. So I had that, and then it was Ant and Dex Saturday night takeaway. So I went to the co-op in my pajamas, and they didn't really have that much, to be honest. I was looking for Bourneville, because that's my favourite chocolate, and it obviously is vegan, so it doesn't have milk in it. And I'm pretty sure it's milk that I have the intolerance to. They had none, so I ended up having to get a Kinder Bueno, so... Yeah. Ooh! Totally forgot that I have a light. I'm gonna have to get a light in my new bathroom because oh, I love this little setup so much. It's such good lighting. So, you guys know in my last vlog I had a big chat to you about food intolerances. Well, yesterday I got so fed up of it and while I was editing the vlog, I thought why don't I just like ask on Twitter if anyone's had a, an allergy test. And a girl said look at the York test. So I did, and it was £350, which is crazy, but I'm just putting my health before ev everything. If I can spend money on operations, I can spend money on actual health. Do you know what I mean? So I have ordered this test. I feel like you prick your finger and give them like a blood sample and they send it back. And I chose the one where they test it against 208 foods and drink because I don't know if coffee is something that I'm a bit weird with. So they're gonna test it against 208 and you get this sheet that comes back and it's got like a red line down it. It's got a, an amber line and a green line. Anything in the green line you are fine with. Anything in the amber line you're like mildly allergic to. And then anything in the red one you just shouldn't be having. Like your body should not be dealing with that so I've ordered that and I'm gonna go through the process with you it should come on Tuesday it's Sunday today and I go back to Sheffield on Tuesday so I'll take it with me that'll give me something to vlog about when I'm there and I'll let you guys know what my results are but I'm actually really excited because there's things like garlic that I feel like I'm a bit weird about as well but I'm not sure if I am. I don't know if it's like the meal has something else in that's not milk that I'm weird about. So yeah, this could be interesting. And if nothing comes back, then I'm going to have to get checked for IBS because my stomach bloating that bad just is not normal. Thank you with my teeth. Hello, I am back. If you think my makeup looks a bit weird, like the bright lip I think is saving me right now because the foundation that I've got on is freaking horrendous. Can you see how patchy this is? On my nose, around my eye. Oh God. If it looks weird, it's because I've just filmed a testing video. The foundation is just such a huge fail, but you will have to find out what foundation it is when I upload it sometime soon. It's a good job that the lip is saving me though. I love this lipstick. Mm. Oh my God, that's so cold on my teeth. Oh. 
I feel like I can't film another video now because my foundation literally looks so bad. It's all I can think about. So I'm gonna go and edit instead. My mum should be coming today, but they've had so much snow in Sheffield again, and like a motorway's closed. So I don't know if she's gonna be able to make it, but I've got a meeting with my estate agent and a builder because I'm taking a builder to see my new house tomorrow to see what needs to be done because there is quite a lot and if I decide to go with this builder I can like book him in and stuff which would be so good because he's got availability at the end of April and that would just be perfect so I'm like crossing my fingers and toes that everything goes okay with that but yeah mum needs to come with me well she doesn't need to come with me but I would like her to come with me this is the first property I'm buying and I don't know shit if I'm honest like you don't get taught this stuff at school so I'm just like figuring it figuring it out around along the way and I always like to have someone with me to make sure I'm making the right decision and stuff so mum is coming she's actually coming here anyway to take me back to Sheffield because I am going to a funeral on Wednesday which is really sad and um, obviously I'm not going to be vlogging like obviously and I haven't mentioned it because I know some people watch my videos and I don't want to like bring that up but at the same time that is why I'm going back to Sheffield. Mum is coming anyway to pick me up, which she doesn't mind. If you watched my video with her on my main channel, which I posted like a week ago now, you will know that my mum literally doesn't mind. Like when it comes to driving to Brighton and like taking me back home and stuff, looking after Nelly, she just offers, she does not mind. If that wasn't an option, I would get the train with Nelly and go back home, but she doesn't mind, so. Yeah, she's doing that. My mum loves Brighton. I would literally, like, give anything for her to live here because she loves it so much. Like, that is one of my aims in life, to buy my mum a house in Brighton. <laughs> Hopefully that can happen someday. Look how sweet this little background is right now. I am loving it. I can't actually wait until spring when I can start wearing, like, my earrings and my lipstick out and about because now I still feel quite wintry, so I'm still just in all black. But when it gets to spring, I can crack out my, like, wide leg trousers that I love and my off the shoulder tops and stuff. So exciting. I've never worn nude before, but I think it's quite a good color on me, don't you think? With dark hair, I feel like it looks quite good. This is a really, really cropped hoodie, as you can see it is cropped from Pretty Little Thing and I'm really into it like I can't wait till I can start wearing this out and about when I've toned my stomach a bit <laughs> and fake tanned it a bit. It is so pale. Like I am talking the color of Piddly's face pale crazy. Do you like that I've matched my earrings to my nails? How cute. I know. <laughs> but yeah, I need to go import my footage, make sure it's all okay. And then today's just going to be another editing day. These vlogs must honestly just get so bloody boring. I will try and think of stuff to talk about today. For right now, I'm eating melon. I'm about to edit. That's all you really need to know. Wonderful. And I've got my huge bottle of water to drink. For lunch today, I've just got the other half of that pasta that I was eating in my last vlog. I think it was my last vlog. Yeah, I've just got the other half. Hello. Hello. Yes. You've not set off yet. No, half three. So you are setting off? Yes. Yay. Mm -hmm. Where's Bean? Oh. Hello, Bean. Oh. Are you sleepy? Oh, look at him. He's so cute. Oh, Bean, he's tired. Where's <laughs> Pikelet? Hello, George, in my jumper. Hello, Dad. Hello, hi. <laughs> I thought Mum was just pointing at me. <laughs> Hello, Lil. <laughs> Hello, Pikelet. Have you ever watched Portrait Artist of the Year? No, Dad. Well, you ought, you ought to. It, it's really interesting how different people I think make it, a painting. I've seen bits them. of it on Gogglebox. Mm. Yeah, it's really interesting to watch. Fancy. The painting Lily Cole. That is so weird. I was thinking about Lily Cole yesterday because I thought, oh, I haven't seen Lily Cole anywhere recently. Oh, right. Well, she's been working in the theatre. She's an actress as well. Oh, ah, that's so, so weird. So uh, the painting Lily Cole. There, can you see mm. that? One? Yeah. That's brilliant. There's a girl who's, she's just drawing in pencil, but she catches, she's fantastic. Oh. Bye, Gabby. Bye, Bye everyone. 
Bye. Oh, bye, Jane. I'm busy. Okay. <laughs> she hung up. That's savage. Just catching up with the fam. You know how it is. I literally FaceTime my mum every day and just ask to see the cats. I should not talk with my mouth full. I'm very sorry about this. But I've taken all my face makeup off except for my eyes. Oh, look at that. <laughs> Can we blend? Hmm. Looking very fresh faced and fancy free. But I'm just sitting here. Probably going to end up watching not portrait artist of the year. <laughs> I'm going to put something else on. What have I taped? I'm going to watch Chris and Olivia cracking on. Thailand. Which is shit, but it's just one of them programs that I just want to watch it, even though it's crap. And yeah, I'm gonna edit my video as well. Oh, remember to put your sticker over your camera. <gasps> oh. Okay, I could not eat that pasta today. I don't know why, I just, my stomach was not happy with it. So, I have decided to get this instead. It's just a soup. It's this lentil kale and quinoa soup. And I just have some brown bread. I've decided that it's time to sort my nail polish out because it's just become a mess. There's some that are so gloopy that I can't use and everything's so dusty. I just need to sort it all out. These are all new things. Then these are ones that I'm probably gonna get rid of because they don't really work anymore. I'm gonna clear this out. I've finished this one now. I've just got nudes on the bottom. You can tell that I love nudes. Then like purpley and burgundy shades. And then I've got blues and a few yellows. And then I've got a couple of pinks, a lot of metallic ones. And then on the top, it's just a lot of reds. My favorite top coat ever. It's incredible. The Sunset Daylight Curing one from Barry M. Amazing, dries your nails in like two seconds. Then I've just got a couple of Essie ones. So that is that one done. Now we're gonna move on to my Nails Ink one. This is before. Okay, so here I am with my after of these ones. Again, I've just got nudes on the front, but then on the second row, it goes from white to orange to reds, and then I've got this really sick glitter. And then on this one, it's blues, and then a yellow and a green. Then in this one, it's like various different pinkish shades. I feel like they need to be swapped. There we go. And then at the end one, it's just a bunch of random colors that don't really make sense anywhere else. So that is my big Nails Ink one. Nails Ink is my favorite and Barry M is my second favorite. So I have a lot of them. But then I also have these and I use these every single time I paint my nails. So this is, I call it like the skincare for your nails. This is what I use on the base. It's the Back to Life Recovery Treatment. I use that underneath and it makes your nails feel really soft and it makes them feel healthier. And then if I run out of that, I use this one. It's just like a base coat, but again, it's really good. It's a superfood base coat. So it works to strengthen your nails. And then I have these two random top coats, which I actually never use. I might give those to my mum's friend because she really likes to paint her nails. So whenever I have nail polish that I don't use, I always give them to Bev. They don't fit on my stands, which is annoying. And you can't put them this way either, but... I'm just gonna have to kind of try and balance them there. So this is the only nail polish remover that I use. It's the bourgeois one and all you do is swirl your finger in it and it takes your nail polish off. It's literally incredible, like everybody should use this. It's not good for glitter polishes and it's not good for red because red stains it. And I have got rid of some nail polish. As you can see here, these are the ones that are no longer alive. They've just got such little polish in them and it's all gloopy. So yeah, I'm getting rid of all of that. My mission now is to empty these because this cabinet is going to my mum's house for the room makeover. I didn't think I had that much stuff in it but it turns out I actually kind of have a lot of stuff in here like I've got all hair dyes and stuff in here I've got a perfume in there a snow globe as you do some random bits and some more random bits so all I'm gonna do for now is just pop them all in a big bag and then I'm gonna sort through them at a later date when I can be bothered <laughs> I did my kitchen all nice. It's so messy when you're making green juice all the time, but I've tidied it. Everything is just drying over here. Got my brother a Easter egg, so I'm so nice. And I've also made myself a sausage sandwich because I am just craving 
carbs today.